What's up guys? And uh, so today I um, I like Nichrome. I like the blue that you get from Nichrome and up and actually still I can't find any videos on how to color it. So I did see a video by um, it's I guess his name is Probes. It's P R zero B E Z. Um, he posted a video and it was like a bunch of pictures on how to color Nichrome. So I that that technique didn't work for me and maybe I'm, I was doing it wrong. But I just wanted to show y'all what I figured out and you know if you're interested in coloring Nichrome, I mean. I couldn't find any videos on it, so I figured people either didn't care or, you know, whatever, or there just wasn't any info out there, so I'm putting it out there. So, this is a piece of Nichrome. Uh, if you don't know how to tell, like if you get your wires mixed up, you can always check on a magnet. If it doesn't stick to the magnet, then it's more than likely it's Nichrome. I mean, I guess there's other, now there's all kinds of wires c coming into play. I don't mess with nickel too much. Um, not really a big fan of, of it, but let's get to the point. So this is a uh, silver looking, I guess, you know, chromium alloy. So watch, this is my torch. Got this for like five bucks at a 7-Eleven. I'm gonna make it glow red and then I'm just gonna move away. I'm gonna keep it going. Follow it down though. You could also do this to coils that have already been made. And I'm gonna show you that too. So once you get it to glow red, it's like it's almost like you're painting. But the only thing is, is there's no way to really control that I know of yet, anyway, to control the colors that you get. But there you go. I mean, that's not really. I guess I probably should have stayed on a couple of those points a little bit more. But let's just grab. This is a coil that didn't really work. Eh, well, this one's actually not one that didn't work out. But I just, yeah, it had some like flaw in it. So look, again, we're gonna check it. Oh, that's not a magnet, this one. Not sticking. So, <clears throat> let's check this out. Let's see if I can even get it. So, it looked like it was glowing purple because of the, um, the infrared in the camera, but look at how blue that is. I mean, and like based on how long you stay on it or what, I guess you'll get different colors. Let's do that one more time. Something with a little more surface area. Um, here it is. I think yeah, this, this is definitely nichrome. Um, so this is another coil that just didn't, the wire didn't work out, but I wrapped it anyway, just fucking around. So let's just say this is some kind of triple core wire or frame build that I did. So let's just do this again. I'm going to start at the fucking leg, get it glowing and try to get the whole, whole thing glowing. And I'm, the other thing I'm not sure about is if the cooling process, if you put it in water, I haven't tried that yet, um, but if that makes a difference, and I'm wondering, like, it always looks way more blue in real life than it does on the uh, camera. And I don't know if there's any kind of filters that would cause that, but, and then I'll do one more. Um, it's a bunch of wire too. That's got canthol in it. That doesn't. Actually, you know what? This is 22 gauge nichrome. Um, <clears throat> 22 gauge nichrome from Lightning Vapes. My man Sean out of Lightning Vapes is doing his thing. Um, yeah, so that should be enough. So I'm gonna just grab this. 
snip that. Grab this jig real quick. Just for the hell of it. Um, I mean, I probably don't even need to use the tweezers on this one, but... So this is 22 gauge nichrome. As you can see, I pulled that right off the spool. I wrapped it right there. So we're gonna start at the leg, and then we're gonna move on. I'm gonna try to get this whole thing. To glow real nice and red. And that'll be that. So let's see what this turns into because I know that the solid wire usually does turn pretty nice. Look at that blue. I couldn't get results like this before. Look how blue the legs are. I'm thinking that if you do it in a, if you do the wire itself, uh, you see how blue that leg is? But you got, I mean, I'm thinking that it would probably have to do staying steady and doing it all the same way. You'll probably get some nice dark results. Look at that. So, I mean, I just wanted to put this out there because I can't find anything on how to color Nichrome. And I think there's so many beautiful colors that come from it. And with all the way that um, that this whole, mar this, this whole industry with the coils has become an art form. I just thought there would be more information about that because it's a big part of it. Like if you've seen, if you go to Instagram, man, there's people out there killing it. Probes is one of them. I mean, they, it's beautiful coils. And then on top of that, you got these colors, these purples and blues and golds. And I mean, listen, if there's a way to help people get them out there, man, I want to see that shit. So I figured I'd do this video and post it to my YouTube. We haven't really done much on the YouTube yet. Um, you know, we got a group where I do most of my stuff, but... I figured I should start branching out a little bit, and so here it is, and I'm Jesse from Jersey Juice, and uh, I hope that might help somebody with something, you know, um, I, uh, I try to help guide people as much as possible in this industry, I guess I should show you all what I'm working with, um, this is a box I built, they're called blackout boxes, um, 20, dual 26650 14 gauge stranded wire I used um, to wire it got the phenotype authentic with the um, with the build I put on this is a uh, 22 gauge nichrome fused with uh, 0.8 by 0.1 flat nichrome then helixed with 32 and then parallel with a piece of 24 so it's a 0.24 resistance So, there's that, got the CLT, I think these batteries might be dying, and then I got this little bastard that I just just rewired, um, took apart a microwave, got these really nice looking wires that I've never seen, before, you know, in anything else, very thin, you'd think. You don't want to wire shit with that. So you never know. Never judge a book by its cover, I guess. Um, and that's that. I hope that helped somebody. Probably dragged it on a little longer than I had to, but if you're into coloring nichrome and you're into building coils and vaping like we do, then you'll probably appreciate it. Look at that dark fucking blue, man. That's beautiful shit. So there you guys have it. Jersey Juice. I'm Jesse. Have a nice uh, day, I guess. Vape bomb. Don't believe the bullshit.